In a stunning revelation, Tesla's groundbreaking semi-truck has left its electric rivals in the dust. Meanwhile, in China, preparations are underway to pave the way for self-driving cars. But the real star of the show is Tesla, as they seek to bring a pre-production manager on board for their innovative Tesla bot project. And the climax of it all? The Tesla Semi has emerged triumphant from an extensive real-world testing phase during the electrifying Run On Less event. The results showcase the truck's capabilities in a manner that surpasses any promotional campaign. Let's find out more in this video. The Run On Less event, organized by the North American Council for Freight Efficiency, has been nothing short of a revelation in the world of electric Class 8 transport trucks. It's a challenge that aims to gather valuable data about the current efficiency of these electric giants and pit them against their more traditional diesel-powered counterparts. PepsiCo, a major player in the trucking industry, boldly entered three of their brand new Tesla semis from their California fleet into this high-stakes competition. Over the past couple of weeks, the world has been treated to tantalizing snapshots of this epic showdown. Even in these early glimpses, the results have been nothing short of astonishing, leaving industry experts in awe. And now that the event has concluded, the full extent of the performance is simply staggering. During the most grueling day of the competition, a PepsiCo Tesla Semi set out with a full charge and covered a whopping 176 miles. This impressive feat was accomplished with only three brief 750 kilowatts fast charging sessions. The first and last of these sessions were incredibly short, raising the semi's charge to 47% and 52%, respectively. However, the midday charge, which conveniently coincided with the driver's half-hour break, boosted the vehicle's charge to a remarkable 89% of its total capacity. The run-on less competition has undoubtedly underscored the Tesla Semi's potential and proved that it can not only match diesel trucks, but also surpass them, all while reducing fuel costs. With California's government poised to phase out internal combustion truck sales by 2036, the future looks increasingly electric for the freight industry. The run-on less competition has wrapped up just in the nick of time. PepsiCo had already declared their intention to replace their entire delivery fleet with Tesla semis. But after the astounding performance showcased at this event, Tesla is now faced with the formidable task of meeting a surging demand for their electric trucks. As the spotlight shifts back to the evolving landscape of electric vehicles, China is taking remarkable steps to ready its roadways for self-driving vehicles. This effort could be pivotal for Tesla's full self-driving FSD system to make headway in the country. Tesla has been diligently preparing for the potential launch of its FSD beta in China, establishing a dedicated operations team to interface with local government authorities, a crucial element in the regulatory process. Currently, Chinese driving laws lack provisions for autonomous vehicles, so the future of Tesla's FSD program in China hinges on the prompt update of these regulations. The good news is that Chinese authorities are not averse to self-driving vehicles. In fact, they have been actively testing an entire infrastructure system tailored for autonomous driving. In the Jiangsu province, the government of Suzhou embarked on an ambitious project to upgrade a local stretch of road into a smart expressway. This 56-kilometer stretch now serves as a real-world laboratory, equipped with over 270 sets of laser and millimeter wave radars, cameras, and antennas dedicated to collecting vital data. This experimental site represents a significant leap in the development of self-driving vehicles. It offers a glimpse into a future where such solutions may be embraced across the nation, addressing one of the most significant challenges for autonomous vehicles on North American roads. In the quest to facilitate seamless integration of self-driving vehicles with the existing road infrastructure, a significant challenge arises from the unpredictable behavior of pedestrians and human-driven vehicles. People often act in erratic ways that automated systems find challenging to anticipate, making dedicated roadways an appealing solution. The current expressway, however, is designated for level four autonomous driving vehicles, while Tesla's full self-driving, FSD, is currently considered at level two. It's worth noting that only a handful of companies are actively testing level four systems, and that too in low-speed environments. However, the expressway in China demands capabilities such as lane changes, ramp entry, and overtaking, which are already well within the capabilities of Tesla's FSD. Therefore, with some adjustments, China may potentially relax its requirements for utilizing this smart expressway. 
This dedicated roadway offers a promising solution for harmonizing traffic mix between self-driving and traditional vehicles. It's a safer alternative, albeit with a potentially higher cost due to the creation of specialized infrastructure exclusively for autonomous vehicles. This level of commitment to infrastructure development is something not typically witnessed in North America, where the adoption of autonomous technology is progressing more cautiously. On the Tesla front, a recent job posting by the company signals that their Optimus robot project is advancing toward a pre-production phase, or as they call it, proto-production. The job listing is for a proto-production supervisor focused on humanoid actuators for the Tesla bot project. This leadership role will involve supervising a team of 15 technicians and collaborating with the actuator program manager to develop plans for Tesla's internal actuator project. CEO Elon Musk had previously shed light on the project's progress during the Q2 earnings call, explaining that initial attempts with off-the-shelf parts had proven insufficient. Consequently, the team had to design their own actuators to meet the project's requirements. In September, we got a sneak peek at the results of this intensive work when Tesla released a video showcasing the impressive and intricate capabilities of one of their active bots. Actuators, in the context of robotics, are the essential components responsible for driving the movement of robotic hardware. Thus, it's evident that Tesla is investing significant effort in creating state-of-the-art actuators to power their ambitious Tesla bot project. This move underscores the company's commitment to developing the most advanced and capable robotic hardware for a wide range of applications. Delving into the intricacies of actuators, it's crucial to understand their role in the functioning of robotic hardware. Actuators, particularly in the context of the Tesla bot project, play a pivotal role in enabling fluid and precise motion at the joints and manipulation points, such as the hands. Achieving this requires a level of fine-tuning that eliminates any jutting or shaky movements. The significance of a production supervisor role, exclusively dedicated to orchestrating the creation and fine-tuning of these actuators, cannot be overstated. It's a clear indication that Tesla has progressed significantly in the design phase, to the point where they can embark on the meticulous planning of the mass production process. Nonetheless, this job won't be a walk in the park, even by Tesla's high standards. Actuators are intricate, highly precise components, and in a robot as complex as Optimus, many of the smaller elements within the gear train can be quite minuscule. The challenge is further compounded by the need for scalability. Tesla must decide whether to attempt to automate the production process, a task that brings its own set of challenges, or continue with the meticulous craftsmanship that their highly skilled technicians have employed thus far. The most likely scenario involves some level of automation to meet the demands of larger scale production. However, the specifics of how this automation will be achieved remain a fascinating puzzle that the production supervisor will be tasked with solving. The job description provides insight into Tesla's dual focus streamlining the existing process for efficiency while simultaneously preparing for the leap to larger scale production. Given the intricacy of the project and Tesla's unwavering commitment to quality, it may be a while before we witness a fully operational production line churning out these remarkable actuators. The journey to bring Tesla's vision of advanced robotic hardware to life is indeed a meticulous one. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, are you excited about Tesla's revolutionary steps in the tech space? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one!